Barbie's younger sister is a lively Carol who has a habit of starting a project and then going on to another one before finishing the first. I can relate. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday's video was the Shop With Me video from Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. And today is the haul, the haul video. So some of the things in the video you would see me pick up and some of them that you didn't. So you're going to see all of them today. Um, I think I spent a total of, I think it was 90 some dollars. It was in yesterday's video. And I will link yesterday's video, the Shop With Me video in the description down below. So you can check that out if you would like to. But let me go ahead and show you what I got. All right, so one of the first things that you might have seen in the video was this cute little Holt Howard kitty cat. It is a shaker. I'm not, I can't remember what exactly line this one comes from. Uh, it isn't the cozy kitten, I know that, but you can see the remnants of his little sticker there on the back. It's just a single shaker, but there might be somebody out there in the world that needs this shaker and I have it and they may need it. And honestly, it just looks good on sitting on a shelf. I like him. I will be selling him though. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep him. Now I myself am going to do start doing something a little bit differently when I go to the antique malls and I'm gonna start looking in the locked cabinets. Typically, I just walk on by them because in my mind, it's telling me everything in there is too expensive. You can't buy anything in there. That's why it's locked up. But that isn't always the case. Those are people's booths and they're paying for that booth and those booths just happen to be locked booths. So I took a look and I found something. These were, I wanna say two or three dollars. Um, they're little Inesco cat shakers. Aren't they cute? Look at their eyelashes. Oh, I can't even. Um, they do both have their stoppers, but they're so cute. So I got those in the, in the locked case. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to pay I'm going to pay more attention to the locked cases. That's going to be that's going to be something that I'm going to work on myself. Um I also picked up this little uh turtle what are you? A toothpick holder. But you know what I'm going to use him for. I don't even need to say it. You know. I'm going to take him home with me and I'm going to add him to my animal selection of vessels for an air plant. See, I just went ahead and told you anyway. All right, I did get another vessel that we prepared for an air plant, taking the tape off of it. I'm not going to keep this one. This one I am selling, but it's this cute little uh, luster vase with a little dog down there chasing a little black cat. Looks like Binks. Look, D, it's Binks. That dog's chased Binks up this vase. It is made in Japan. So this is something that I will be selling as well. And I will go ahead and say this now, if you see anything that you're interested in, uh, you can send me an email, thriftersjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and we can talk about the details and see if we can get this shipped to you. All right, the next thing that I got, I got a set of three of these, and I have one, and I thought that it matched, but it doesn't. So I still have the one and these three. They're very majolica looking uh, little juice cups always drink juice. Do they all say? Yeah, they all say always drink juice. They're all exactly the same. I love the beautiful crazing on them. They would look cute in a display. Uh, so I picked these up. I want to say they were, they were under $5 for all three of them. I got those. Um, I did get a couple books. Well, a book. I got a book. Well, I'm going to show you the book here in a minute because that book I actually got from Goodwill. So we'll save that for a minute. That's the only thing that I got from Goodwill. Shocking. I know. I got this nice, big, tall, red thermos. Thermos brand thermos. Great for a display. It's a nice, tall one, so it will make your other ones look a little bit different in variation of sizes. Um, I think that, it, yeah, it has the lid and the inside is still intact. That is a glass insert, so sometimes they can be shattered. This one is still intact, so I picked that up. I also got this little elephant, and I just kind of fell in love with her face. She's so angry. She is a pen holder. I have a pen right here I can show you. Look at her face. She's like a little, little annoyed 
but she's very pretty. I like the luster on her. I do believe that she is probably made in Brazil, would be my guess. She doesn't have any markings on her. I'm just taking the tape off of her. No markings on her, but she looks like a Brazil piece. I just thought that she was pretty. She's got a little umbrella and her flowers down there. She's got a little tutu on. She's adorable. And I bought her. Uh, I also got this. Now, this is just, it was, I think it was a couple dollars, but it's just fun. It's this boot, and it says it's for rainy day savings. So, it's a bank. It does have its stopper, very much from the probably the 1970s. It has a little shoelace on it. It's kind of like, it's kind of punk rock-esque a little bit, kind of, maybe. I don't know. I just thought it was neat. I liked it. I also got an apron, a nice green apron with these fun floral print on the bottom. I think, yeah, these are holly, holly berries. So it's a Christmas apron, Christmas apron. All right, I got a couple brooches too. So <laughs> this brooch, I, I just loved it. Oh my goodness, it's great. It doesn't have any markings on it. It has a um just a clip clasp on it but it's a little wiener dog see he's a little wiener dog he's bejeweled he's a bejeweled wiener dog and then i also picked up this little owl with the diamond belly and green eyes i when i'm looking at brooches i typically will only pick up the figural ones of animals Unless it is a very Art Deco or Art Nouveau, I do like to pick up those. But my, I'm generally drawn to the, the animal ones myself. All right. And I got these. These are California pottery. Um, I need to do a little bit more research on them. They are, and I, I, I literally just laid this stuff down on the table. So I haven't looked any of this stuff up. But I'm wanting to say... It is, it is a piece of California pottery. Well, let me just show them to you. Here's the first one. Ugh, look at her. She's singing in the bathtub. She's got her little bath brush, her hair pulled up. It has the little ribbon to hang it from. Here's the marking on the bottom. So I'm not quite sure. They're beautiful. And here's the other one. There's, you know, you can hang them like this. But this is the other one that says, my baby said yes. Look at her eyelashes. Again, the same marking on the back, the, the little ribbon to hang them up. I think that these would look so cool in a master bath or even in a bedroom. I, I, I saw them hanging on the wall and I loved them. I fell in love with them. So I did get those. I also got this cute little guy, this cute little planter, little dog. I like the ones that look like stuffed animals. So he kind of looks like he's like a little patchwork animal a little bit. I, I think that you're a dog. Kind of looks like a bear, but I think that he's a dog because little tail and his pink belly. So he's really pretty cute. And then I also got this little California pottery piece of a little lamb. This is not California pottery. Well, you fooled me. This is made in Japan. Um, it has these flowers in it, which I'm going to take out. In really nice condition. There's no chips. It has this little blue, like a flower marking on the back. So this isn't California pottery. It is made in Japan, but boy, it has those eyelashes. It looks very real Hondo-esque, but very nice. Super cute little planter. There is the sticker on, or there's not the sticker, but the mark on the bottom. So he's adorable. <laughs> I keep looking at this elephant and she's like, Argh! she's, she's had enough. I've had enough of you, Misty. You need to be quiet. I hear that a lot. So wouldn't be the first time that I heard that. And then I got this. And I don't know what I want to do with this, guys. I kind of want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it. Because it's wooden, which I like. It kind of looks like my shakers. But look at the faces. It's a little sewing box, little trinket box with stinking faces on it. We've got needles, utility, and pins. They're little drawers, and each drawer has its own little facial expression on it. 
this one's my favorite because he's angry. And they almost look like they got googly eyes. I think this is fun. You can hang it on the wall and then you can put, you know, you can put a little, a little air plant or something on top of it. Gosh darn you. You're so cute. I, I don't know. I don't know. I may end up keeping this. At least for a little while. I like it. One other thing that I am keeping is Mr. Monkey. Now, I paid up for him. I think I paid $8 for him, which is a lot for me. To, for me to buy something for myself, it's a lot for me. But I love him. I especially love his little tail. He was sitting up on the shelf just looking at me. He is a gund. Ooh, is it, or you're an early gund. Gund Sani Foam. Foam rubber stuffed. J. Sweden Incorporated. Monkey Gund. There's his tag. Look at his little ears. Oh! He's so cute. He's so mischievous. Are you, like, curious, George? But he's really in, really in good condition. His face is not rubber. It's like a plasticky. It's a plasticky face plasticky faced monkey. Um, I also picked up this. I'm excited about this and I will maybe insert some sounds from this at the end of this video, but it is spooky party hints. Oh no, that's what the, the inside is. But this is made by Disneyland. It's chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. I remember this as a child. Do you remember this? Leave me a comment below if you remember this record as a child. I'm kind of excited to play it to bring back some of that nostalgia. But there are The Haunted House, Very Long Fuse, The Dogs, Timber, Your Pet Cat, Shipwreck, Unsafe Bridge, Chinese Water Torture, The Birds, Martian Monsters, Screams and Groans, Thunder, Lightning and Rain, Catfight, Dogs, A Collection of Creeks. Fuses and explosions, a collection of crashes, birds, drips and splashes, and things in space. So you can have a haunted house and play their sound effects. And on the inside, there is party tip, spooky party games. I haven't even checked the record. Hopefully the record, okay, yeah. The record is in pristine condition. Disneyland. So I will insert a, some sounds from this at the end of this video to see if it can bring some nostalgia to your day as well. And then I also got some Block Optic Sherbet, or Sherbet, however you want to say it. Dessert Uranium Glass Dessert Cups. I got four of them. I have sold these before. So these will be available on... These actually I am saving for my Wednesday sale. So they're block optic uh, uranium glass sherbet. Sherbet. Do you say it sherbet or sherbert? I say sherbert. So let me know how you say it. I'm interested. All right. And then this is the lone thing that I picked up from Goodwill. I did go into Goodwill that day and it was slim pickings, let me tell you. So I didn't get really hardly anything, but I did get this book caught my eye, and it's Happy Go Lucky Skipper. Yes, that Skipper. Introducing Barbie's Younger Sister by Carol Mimbling. It's made by Random House. It's in excellent condition. Look at the graphics inside there. It's a hardback book. The copyright is, oh look, The Welcome Wagon. Remember the welcome wagon? Did you ever have a welcome wagon in your neighborhood? Uh, when are you? 1965. The copyright date is 1965. Happy go lucky Skipper. Skipper, Barbie's younger sister, is a lively girl who has a habit of starting a project and then going on to another one before finishing the first. I can relate. This leads to trouble sometimes, but together with her best friend, I'm a Jean Ann, and I've never heard of her, who follows, who follows 
her wherever Skipper leads, she goes merrily on from day to day, always full of bright ideas. And whether on a trip to the supermarket or helping Imogene Ann get ready for her loose tooth, Skipper creates excitement and fun for herself and everybody around her. I like Skipper. So I've never heard of Imogene Ann. Oh, there's Skipper making the welcome wagon sign. Um, I did look this up. I did, I bought it. It was, I think, a dollar. I can't remember how much the hardback books are at my Goodwill. But don't skip checking out the book section because you can find some cool things in there. You can find books that you can resell. You can find books that you can use in a display. So don't second guess the book section at Goodwill. I think that those sell for about $15 to $18 in that condition on eBay. So, you know, my dollar investment, you know, could make me $15 to $16 selling it on eBay. Minus the fees. So I'll still make a profit on it. I'm going to do this for myself too. I'm going to not second guess the locked cabinets when I go to antique malls because you can find some things in there that are marked good for resale, you know? So I'm, I'm gonna look at them a little bit more carefully. Sometimes that's a hassle because then you have to get someone to unlock them for you and la da 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 da. And that's kind of a, that's kind of a hassle, but you know, you can find some good deals in there as well. So I'm not going to second guess going through the locked cabinets. And I also wanted to say, lately I have been finding much better bargains and much better deals going to antique malls than I have at the thrift store. I don't know about you in your area, but let me know in the comments if you frequent thrift stores more often lately or if you frequent uh, antique malls because I have been finding some great items and some great deals in antique malls this past couple months. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just what everybody else is kind of going through too. So I'm curious to know. Leave me a comment if you are kind of what where you're at if you're a reseller, if you're find, finding the better bargains and better deals. All right, guys, that is my haul. I will end playing some of the spooky music, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like this video, and also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.